TK1636. Today I'm going to explain about the different totes we use when we go to events. The top one and the bottom one are Huskies. This one's a 35 inch and it's 25 gallons. This one's a 37 inch and it's 50 gallons. This one's about 50 bucks. This one's about 64. This one right here is a Plano. And we bought this one at Walmart. That one's about 30 bucks. And there's different varieties, some where the lid is hinged and some where the whole lid comes off. So you can fit a whole Stormtrooper in this one, this one, and this one. But the difference between the bottom one is you can fit a lot more. You can fit the blaster, you might even be able to fit the helmet. These, you can't fit anything but just the armor and the boots. So I'll go ahead and show you how mine looks on the inside and how the actual Stormtrooper kit looks inside of it. So I went ahead and just bought a, a blanket and then I have a top piece just to keep it from being scratched. So I have the under, under armor and I have the gloves and I have the belt. And the belt I use is like a corduroy belt. It's a 511 and I, I like these because they're a lot thicker and, the, and the, when you strap up the legs it doesn't bend if you use a, a normal belt. Plus here you can uh, make it smaller or make it bigger, however you want. These are only like 15, 20 bucks. And then the gloves are aviation gloves, just flight gloves. And these right here, I bought them online on eBay. They're basically just the regular Stormtrooper boots, but they're in black because the armor is uh, a Shadow Trooper. So that's that armor. And it fits in there perfectly. Everything, the arms and everything's inside the armor, so it fits very nicely in there. And then it has some very big tires. So these tires right here, and then the arm outstretches, so you can uh, easily put this in a Honda Civic. But then you can put your armor in and you can move it everywhere. This will drive over just about anything. And then you have the Walmart one. It just has the snaps. Hold it. And then I have the clone armor in here. I haven't put anything on the, on the inside or on the lid. But it will fit the whole clone armor in there. Except for the helmet. And this one also... wheels but they're very tiny and these wheels actually broke on me so I just um, drilled some screws drilled a hole and put screws in them so they stay in there but these wheels suck but again it'll fit into a Honda Civic this one will not fit in the Honda Civic if you have a four door you can put it in the back if you have a two door it will not fit in the, in the back you almost have to take a seat out kind of a pain in the butt but here you have plenty of room. There's actually a box, like a little box that comes right here. And you can put uh, any glue or just anything that you might need to repair your armor. The armor will sit in here. You can put the helmet in there. You can put your blaster in there. This one also has huge wheels, so you can take it anywhere. And this one has a handle too. That box also, when you take the box out, you can put it, it'll fit in where the handle extends out. This I got from Home Depot, but you can also get the Stanley one. The Stanley one is equivalent to this one, about the same price and about the same gallons. So it all depends if you have a truck, minivan, this is perfect. If you have a car, not so good. My buddy has a Scion, so his, I mean a FRS, so his, uh, this fits in the back seat, but it won't fit in the trunk. Uh, my other buddy also has a BRZ, the same as a Scion, or the TC, or the FRS, but this will not fit in the trunk, and it won't fit in the back seat either, so he had to go with this one, but this one will fit in the Civic.